This street racing crash on Bayshore Boulevard led to the death of a family, changes on one of Tampa's most iconic roads, and a pair of prison sentences. This is Nightside. I am Ryan Bass. Thanks for joining us. Today, a judge sentenced Cameron Heron to 24 years in prison. Nightside's Angelina Salcedo was in the courtroom, and Angie, it was a painful day for two barrier families. A long day in court and an extremely draining process for Jessica and Lilia's family. But tonight they finally got the justice they've been searching for. Although this won't bring my wife back, I hope that this sentence will inspire younger folks to behave in a manner that is appropriate amongst our streets. David Robinald reacting to the news. A judge sentenced his wife and daughter's killer to 24 years in prison. 18 year old Cameron Heron was behind the wheel of the car that hit Jessica and Lilia on Bayshore Boulevard. The state argued Cameron was racing his friend John Barino before the crash. But for him driving 102 miles an hour in that vehicle, we wouldn't be here. That was back on May 23rd in 2018. Barino was sentenced to six years in prison in December of 2020. Cameron's brother Tristan was in the car that hit Jessica and Lilia. He is charged with unlawful racing on a highway. Tristan's sentencing is on April 20th. Because there's really nothing that the court can do. The defense argued for Cameron's sentence to also be six years. The judge didn't feel it was sufficient. Sentence him to 15 years Florida State Prison, and that'll run consecutive to count one for a total 24 years Florida State Prison. While Jessica's family continues to fight for safer streets, her husband says she and his daughter will live in his heart. Jesse, I love you with all my life. If she knew that our goal is to make these streets safer, uh, being the, the humble person that she was, she would accept her sacrifice and and be grateful for it. The Heron case was one of several deadly crashes along Bayshore that has actually led to changes. Let's take a deeper dive into some of them. You might remember almost a year ago to the day when a guy on a motorcycle going nearly 100 miles per hour crashed into a biker that was crossing Bayshore. Both of them died. The state attorney's office said the person on the motorcycle would have actually faced charges for vehicular homicide if he had survived. Three months earlier in 2020, a man driving a pool supply truck hit and killed a runner as well. Benjamin Ehas admitted to drinking before the crash and got 12 years in prison in a plea deal. Now that road is certainly known for its beauty, but it has a painful past that has finally led to some changes. A day after the Heron crash in May of 2018, the city dropped the speed limit from 40 to 35 miles per hour, and they put in new crosswalks with, cra with flashing lights. They had just three, by the way, along the entire five mile stretch of Bayshore before that crash and these changes. Police also gave out more than twice the normal number of speeding tickets after all these changes were made. But more could still be done. And on the 30th of this month, the city council is gonna meet virtually to discuss what else can be done to stop the speeding on Bayshore.